All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to name metallic compounds. First of all, let me tell you what a metallic compound is. On the periodic table, a metallic compound is something that comes from, meaning one of the metals is coming from the D block and maybe a little bit right in here in the uh, P block, but mainly a metallic compound is something that's going to be right in this general area on the periodic table. One of the metals, I remember metals occur uh, first uh, in naming these. So let me give you an example of uh, how you name a metallic compound. Now, a metallic compound uh, is, uh, for example, uh, one example is this, uh, FeCl3. Now we know that this is iron, okay? I R O N. And we know that chlorine becomes chloride. Now, when we named ionic compounds, this would have been good enough. But there's different uh, versions, so to speak, of iron, okay? Meaning that there's different uh, cations of iron. There's uh, for example, on the back of your white sheet here, um, iron, there is iron 2 and iron 3. So let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Iron 2 and iron 3. Okay. So what we need to do is see which one we have here. Well, it's kind of obvious which one we do have. We have iron 3 because of this 3 right here. So we know that this is iron 3. Now, I can see how that's confusing uh, because of the Roman numerals. Now, just in case if you don't remember your Roman numerals, if you have one, it's like that. Two in Roman numerals is like this. Three. Four. Remember, it's IV. Five is V. Six is VI. Uh, seven is VII. Eight is V with three I's, and nine is actually I X, and ten is just X. So Roman numerals is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now that's an X. Now this is iron three chloride. You understand iron, you understand chloride, but this three is the hard one. Now let me show you. Uh, how you know that this is iron 3 chloride other than just looking here. Okay, remember iron had two different versions. It was Fe plus 2 and Fe plus 3. Cl only has one version of an ion and it's negative 1. You can see that right here. Cl is negative 1 because it's in that column. It's always negative 1. Please remember to always rely on the nonmetal to make sure uh, that this is the one that will make sure you, you pick the right one of these because what's going to happen is one of these two numbers here goes down behind the CL and this number comes down behind the FE so that's why the ones there behind the FE because it came from the CL this three came from the FE so that's how we know that we have iron three because of that ion okay let's do another one uh, an easy one to do that's just similar to this is FeCl2. Now once again you know that's iron, you know that's chloride. Now this time once again we know that this 2 originally belonged to the Fe. So we know that we originally have Fe plus 2 and the Cl was negative 1. So we know that's why that 1's there. It originally belonged to the Cl. This two belongs to Fe, so that's how we know that we've got iron two chloride. Now this is how you do the simple ones, and in the next video I'll show you how you do the ones where uh, you can have reduction. Alrighty, hope this helps.